Oh my god, the bacteria is taking over the world! What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's gonna be a mod showcase on the bacteria mod. This mod actually allows you to grow bacteria, which can take over your entire world. Like, this is gonna be a really destructive mod review. There's gonna be absolutely nothing left when we're done, guys. And this might be a possibility for our Mods vs. Map series. But to get started, you are gonna need sponges. And to get them, you can find them underneath water, or you can actually craft them. But I was looking around, they're actually pretty uncommon. Alright, so you're gonna need wool and some dandelions with a bucket of water to get two sponges. And then you craft it with bread and water to make must. So the must, you actually have to grow this to get bacteria. Right here is my bacteria garden. So all you need to do is put them underneath water. They have to have a block of water above them to grow. And you can see underneath here, they're different colors. Like these ones are grown and the other one isn't. So I put it down, you can see how it's a different color. And eventually, they'll turn into this. So when we break these, let me actually go into survival real quick here. When we break these, we are gonna end out with bacteria. And it's really important, it's used in almost every single crafting recipe. So we've got some bacteria right here. And here's a bunch of recipes, guys. A bacterium colony. And this is what you use that basically takes over the entire world. So it's a bunch of bacteria and a redstone torch in the middle. We're going to grab this and have some fun with it. And this one is the bacterium replacer colony. So instead of destroying like every block, you can actually choose to replace the blocks with new ones. So if you want to have some fun with this and be extremely overpowered, you can actually turn your world to diamonds if you wanted to. So it's bacteria with coal in the middle. So we'll grab both of these. And before we actually destroy the entire world, guys, there's a couple really important recipes because these can actually stop the bacteria from spreading and save your world. All right, so the first one, the Bacterium Jammer. You are going to need some colonies, an iron ingot, and a redstone torch. So all you have to do is basically right-click with this thing, and the colonies are all going to disappear, every single one, which is really cool because if you don't want your world to get destroyed, you can stop it. And this right here is the Bacterium Jammer block. The recipe is pretty similar, except you've got some cobblestone here. And the difference with this one is you place it down in the middle of the bacteria, and when it touches it, it's going to disappear. And it's only going to get rid of one colony. The actual jammer gets rid of every single one you create. But I'll show you guys what I mean. Let's grab all this stuff and get started. And you can stop things from spreading by making like a base like this around it out of bricks. So bricks are the only thing that can prevent this. So to show you guys, I'm going to put down a bacterium colony. And to actually start it, to get it started, what you need is a redstone torch. And it also has to know what kind of block you want to destroy. So I'm going to put that block above it, which is going to be dirt for now. And now it's going to destroy every block of dirt in this area. And since I put the bricks around it, it's not going to go out here and like destroy the entire world. But if I didn't do that, guys, it would literally take over your world. But you can see right here, it's going to stop right at the bottom because it turns to stone. So pretty simple to like contain the bacteria but yeah i was thinking about it for mods versus maps because all i have to do is place a bunch of blocks above it and i can annihilate a map with bacteria so we can do this again let me actually put this back down here we'll power it up and put some stone on top and now it's going to go basically all the way down to bedrock and as i mentioned we can stop it if we want to so let's get a couple examples here i've got the jammer block we'll just grab that we'll place it down in the middle once it gets down pretty deep but as you can see, this takes over very, very quickly. It can be an awesome way to find ore. You want to get rid of all the stone, guys? All the ore is going to be showing. It's going to be really easy to get it. So I think if I just place this down here, it should grab this block. If not, let me... Oh, there we go. I was going to place it down lower. So now the bacteria has stopped spreading, and I think I might be near a cave. Here like zombies around. But yeah, you can stop it with this block. And of course, as I mentioned before, you can also stop it with the bacterium jammer. So, let me get rid of this. We'll try that once, and then it's time to take over the world. Alright, so, last example before we take over everything here. Actually, you know what? Let's do it with um, the replacer one. So, let's say we want to replace these blocks with... What do we want to do with? I'm thinking diamonds. Diamonds would be epic. Alright, so all you have to do is put the diamond block above it, and it's going to break the blocks that are below it. So, if stone's below it, I think it is, it's going to go with all the stone blocks. Alright, so I'm going to put it right there. And then all we have to do is power this up one more time. What do I do with my redstone torch? All right, there it is. All right, here we go. And now every block is going to get turned into diamond that's stone in this area. Because we contained it with the bricks. 
So hopefully it's going to go down there. See, it's spreading slowly. And if I want to stop everything, all I have to do is use the Bacterium Jammer. And if I had a bunch of colonies going all throughout the world, it would stop every single one. Just kind of curious, like... Yeah, it's all turning into diamond now, guys. Look at this. Pretty insane. So every block down here is now diamonds. And really, Oh, there's a zombie. I knew you guys were here. I heard you. I heard you guys. This is a really small cave. I feel kind of bad for you. All right, so let's see if we can get down here to the actual bacteria. It may have just spread too far at this point. Yeah, it spread too far. But all I have to do is just right-click, and the bacteria is jammed. So it's jammed 18 bacteria, and it'll stop spreading now. So guys, now it is on to the fun stuff. We are going to take over the entire world with bacteria. So I'm just going to place this down. I'm going to grab my redstone torch here. And since it has no restrictions at all, it's going to take over absolutely everything. So we're going to start with dirt. And all the dirt is going to be gone really soon. I did this before to test it out. And my world was wrecked completely. It was awesome. I loved it. But you can see it has no restrictions, so it's going to go everywhere. And yeah, where there's water, it's it's going to mess it up really bad. It can get a little bit laggy, so if you have a bad computer, be really careful as it's going to spread every single spot in the entire world. Oh, the pig is standing on it. You're going to fall. You, you might you might want to get out of there. Oh, oh, are you okay? You're fine? I'm glad. But look at this, guys. Every single piece of dirt... Is now disappearing so we got to take this to the next level we got to do it right away so i'm going to put this down we're going to grab the stone blocks and this is when things start to get extra insane because as you know most of the world is actually made of stone and there is not going to be much world left and if you're curious about like blocks like bedrock and stuff if you happen to have a mod where you can like place out a bedrock block or something like that then you can definitely get rid of bedrock and fall out of the void if you want to so i actually tried it out and you can see the ore is coming up like crazy. So if you did decide to use this in a survival situation, I'm not sure I'd want to because something bad would definitely happen to me. It would be amazing for mining. It's so easy to find diamonds and iron and absolutely everything. You can see the world's already freaking out. It's like not loading in. It doesn't know what to do. But as we get through here, everything is disappearing. But yeah, I thought this would be so awesome for mods versus maps. All I have to do is place a bunch of blocks above it and then... The whole map would just disappear like this. And if we wanted to leave like a couple blocks, like to leave it like in shambles, could definitely do that too. So yeah, if we head down here, it's spreading so insanely quick. It's amazing. Yeah, just be careful. You don't accidentally like, you know, infect your house with a bacteria. The squids are happy maybe. You guys dancing or something. <laughs> Look at this. The water is coming all the way down here. See, some of the dirt actually, I guess it was protected before by... Maybe the gravel or the stone that was above it, but it's not affected by the bacteria now. And all the gravel is starting to fall down. But yeah, if we go down here. You know what? I'm going to grab night vision real quick. Because I have a feeling it's going to get dark trying to explore all this. Alright, here we go, guys. Heading into the bacteria. Alright, so now I can see the creeper standing there. I know, it's a really bad day for you. Your home is, is in ruins. Alright, so we're getting really far down. I want to see if we can actually find some diamonds. I see some gold over there. Find it all kinds of caves. The real problem is the water tends to take over absolutely everything. If there's ponds around and stuff like that, you can see it turned into some kind of weird fountain thing. Everything is covered in water. All right, let's see. Um, look how this is like protected right now. So I actually protected this area with the bricks. So use them carefully, guys. They're extremely important with this mod if you want to take out an area. And um, what you really can do is just protect, like, a giant square, like, around your house and, like, annihilate everything else. You can have, like, your house up in the air and nothing of the world left. All right, so let's see how the dirt's doing. It's not really spreading too much, maybe because we're not that close to it, but you can see a lot of stuff has disappeared. And let's head down here. I could, like, go through this forever, just watching the world get annihilated. I love stuff like this. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of iron. I want to see some diamonds. I'm not ending the review, guys, until we see diamonds, even if I have to swim through it. Wow, there's so much lava. This is this is much worse with the water than any time when I tried this before. I'm trying to find, like, a safe way down here. All right, maybe over here. And we should be really close to bedrock, I would think, at this point. There's a bunch of gold down here. All right, so our height right now, we're actually at 16, so diamonds could be anywhere. I see a little redstone over there. But the water is leaking all over the place. 
All right, guys, we have finally reached bedrock, and I found a ton of diamonds, too. Look how many diamonds are right here. That's amazing. I definitely saw some more around here. There's just so much water, it's hard to navigate. I think this skeleton's gonna die. All right, there we go. A bunch more diamonds, like underwater. And you can see the bedrock is the only thing left here. So yeah, it took over the entire world. Let's get out of here. And what we're going to try to do is now actually change our world into an awesome block. I'm thinking emeralds this time, maybe. We should actually jam this. Because if we don't, it'll never be the same. And luckily, I've had no lag so far at all with this. Like the second I said that, my FPS got lower. All right, here we go. So jamming the bacteria. And it jammed 46,803 bacteria. That is completely insane. And now all of this should disappear. The bacteria is gone, guys, and now you can see there is ore everywhere. Even some of the pigs ended out on the ore. <laughs> Looks horrible. What is he going to do? I'm feeling bad for this dude. You can see all the pigs are on top of iron ore. But yeah, it looks totally insane. I think I saw another one on diamonds down there. But yeah, what we're going to do is take over the world once again, except change it to emeralds. So we're going to get some emerald blocks, guys, and actually turn the world into them. All right, so this should be fun. We'll go over here where the world was not destroyed. Looks so cool, though. All right, so over here should be good. I'm thinking about just changing the dirt into it. We'll go with the dirt so we can actually see, like, the land. All right, so let's put this down one more time. The bacterium replacer colony. All we have to do is put this above it. And every single amount of dirt is now going to get changed into emeralds. So first, it's going to be bacteria like that. Then, eventually, it turns into emeralds. So, I know what you're thinking, guys. This is the most overpowered mod I've ever seen. And you're absolutely right. If you use it for this, it's really, really, really overpowered. Like, it, it couldn't be more. All you need is one block of something, and you could turn it into millions. But it's really cool. I mean, if you wanted an awesome, like, emerald landscape, like, below your house or something like that, you could definitely do it without too much effort. Just make sure you set up your bricks, or the entire world is going to turn into emeralds. I guess you could turn the whole world into something if you wanted to. But yeah, as you can see, it spreads and it goes on forever. But of course, you can't stop it if you want to. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video. Oh, God, not another witch. How does it feel to be egg exterminated? What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mod showcase on the pun mod. And you might be wondering, what could the pun mod even be? It actually adds in a bunch of really cool weapons with special abilities and every single name is a pun. It's pretty funny so I felt like I had to review this one. And guys, to make it a little bit more exciting, I have once again created another obstacle course. So if you enjoy these, be sure to smash that like button. If we get it like 3,500, I will definitely keep them coming. So I guess it's time to try out the pun obstacle course, guys. The first item is the greater sword. And it actually grates your enemies, which you're going to see in a minute. It's pretty funny. To make this, you're going to need a bunch of iron ingots and a stick. So we'll grab this. And these bat spawners too. Because we must greet bats and animals. So if I attack them with this sword. It's actually going to like grate part of them off. It's like grating cheese. So I'm really sorry about this cow. I imagine this is a really painful sword to use. But if I hit him. Meat actually drops right off him. So it's like I sliced some off. It's got to be really painful. So um, this actually works on almost every vanilla mob. And they all drop different things. So you know sheep drop string. A cow. Meat. I think a pig drops its meat too. A creeper, it drops gunpowder and all kinds of stuff. And the reason we're going to grate bats is because they have a bunch of brand new items you need for this mod. Well, not a bunch. There's actually only one new item, but it's really important. So if I could hit this bat here, we should be able to get a brand new item. Can you stop for one second? You're driving me crazy, bat. All right, there we go. So this is a new item in the mod called bat fur. And you need it for a brand new armor set and a weapon too. Cow, why did, why did you even jump in here? I definitely didn't place you. Would you like to be graded as well? Is that a yes? I see how you're looking at me. All right, if that's what you want, I'll just get some extra meat when I kill you. So you can see this can be really useful for getting, like, extra items off mobs. Like, even if you kill a blaze with it, you can get, like, blaze powder coming right off it. And, guys, the next thing we must do here is make ourselves the battle set. And you can see it actually says, like, battle because it's made out of bats. 
So what you're going to need to do is grab some bat fur, two iron ingots like that to make the battle iron ingot. And all the recipes are the same as normal Minecraft, just with, you know, battle iron. So this stuff is really cool. We're going to grab it and put it on. And to test it out, we'll try it on the iron golem. And the armor is stronger than iron, and the weapon is actually stronger than diamond. So it's definitely worth, like, you know, grading bats. It seems weird, but definitely worth it. All right, guys, here we go. So we're going to kill the iron golem. As you can see, it is quite powerful. So we're taking him out really quick. I'm sorry, iron golem. The battle set has taken you down. All right, so next up, guys. We are going to fly over this wall. And it's with a really funny item. It is with the flying pan. Not the frying pan, but the flying pan. And to make it, you need a bunch of iron ingots, redstone, and a stick. It's kind of hard to control, so I wrote, um, don't die. So be careful. You right-click, it shoots you into the air. And you do take fall damage, so be really careful. So we're going to try to land up here without killing ourselves. All right, only two hearts of damage, not too bad. And if you try to go down from a high area, it's pretty difficult, but you can survive. I've tried it before. But as you can tell, it can be great for going into high areas, you know, like a tree house or over a mountain or something. Just traveling around your world with a frying pan, basically. All right, guys, so we must press this epic button right here. All right, so now it is nighttime. And this one is really simple. It changes the time. It's the morning star. To make it, you need wool and feathers. So we're going to grab this. And all you have to do is right-click it. And now it's day. So yeah, really simple to use and can be super useful. You know, you don't have a bed next to you. Just bring your morning star with you. But of course, you know, it disappears after you use it. All right, so now guys, we are going to be heading down here. Try to make it safe. I didn't trust the flying pan. The thing is a freaking catastrophe for traveling down. All right, there we go. So now we must blow up witches. And for that, we are going to need the crossbow. It's the real crossbow. Look at it, guys. It's actually a cross and a bow. So we're going to grab this. To make it is really easy. It's just a bunch of gold ingots, which definitely gives you another reason for them. And we got to blow up some witches. Should be a lot of fun. And the cool thing about this is it doesn't destroy the terrain at all. And you don't need any ammo in your inventory. So I can shoot as much gold as I want. I can shoot it like crazy. It goes really quick. All right, so the witch is going to be really upset in a second. I'm sorry, witch, but you got to die a horrible death. Don't even try a potion. It's not going to work. You're going to be dead in a second. All right, there we go. Let's just kill one more for fun. All right, guys. Should we give him a chance? I feel bad. Which do you Nice try, but that was over my head. Just, just letting you know. At least you tried. All right, so now you must die. Definitely a cool weapon, though. I like it a lot. I'm shooting gold. I feel like they should change it, though. So, you know, you actually have to use your gold ingots or maybe gold nuggets. Something like that. I feel like it's a little too good at this point and a bit overpowered. All right, so next up, guys. We have to hit these targets, but not with this weapon. We need the egg exterminator. So you actually shoot eggs at them. And to make it, it's iron ingots and a feather. All right, so we're going to grab this, guys. And also, we need hard-boiled eggs to shoot. So to get those, guys, all you have to do is take an egg and then cook it in a furnace, and you get three. So it's pretty cool. And once again, it does not destroy your terrain. So just throw a bunch of eggs. I threw so many there. All right, the targets are the cows. So cows doesn't hurt you that bad, does it? All right, well, when you fell, it really hurt, I'm sure. Oh, man, eight damage on the direct hit. Try this again. And it's really easy to accidentally shoot more. Like, it shoots a bunch. I mean, check this out. Look how many eggs. You could annihilate something with that. But definitely another really fun weapon. When I saw the mod, I was like, this is probably going to be really stupid, but it's actually awesome and funny at the same time. All right, so if we head this way, guys, we must jump down here. And this, this one is really interesting, actually. So it is the flea bag, I think. Can't even see it right there. Yeah, the flea bag. To make it, you need a bunch of leather, redstone, and a gold nugget. So we're going to grab this thing, and we are going to jump down. All right, here we go. So down here, guys, is basically a cave. And the reason for this is for fleeing an area. So if you're in a cave and you really want to get out, it's actually going to shoot you out of it. And luckily, it doesn't kill you. So what we're going to do is use it and try to make our way back to the course. So I'm going to right-click. It's going to disappear. And it kind of launches you wherever it feels like launching you. So we're a little bit away from it. But we don't take any fall damage, which is awesome. And great if you're stuck in a cave. It happens to me sometimes. And now you can just use your flea bag and flee out of there. All right. So next up, we are going to test something on spiders. And this one is the holy sword. 
it actually has holes in it. And when you craft it, it's already damaged. But you can repair it if you want to. So guys, to make a sponge, raw fish, water bucket, and moss stone, put them together like that, and you got yourself a sword. And I feel like you got to test it on some spiders. But as you can see, guys, it's a little bit weak in durability. It's strong, though. It's strong as diamond, actually. But it's not going to last that long. All right, so spider, I'm really sorry about this. The holy sword is going to kill you. It's funny. It actually has holes in it. All right, so spider. Yeah, the weapon is very powerful and definitely a cool way to get something as strong as diamond. All right, so if we head over here, guys, this one gives you invulnerability. You can't die with it. It's the ultimate block. No, it's not a block. All right, to make it, guys, it's a block of diamond, a block of gold, and a block of emerald. So it's really expensive, and you have to have it in your hand. So what we're going to try to do is kill ourselves. You're going to notice we got resistance on. Let's see what happens here, guys. So we're actually good. It's impossible to kill yourself unless you fall out of the void, which hopefully won't happen to you in a normal survival situation. At least I imagine it won't. So cactuses. Can't even feel it. Doesn't hurt me. Not, it feels good, actually, with this in my hand. But probably the only thing to keep in mind, guys, is if it's not in your hand, it does absolutely nothing. So you can't really fight a boss with it, because you would be smacking him with your hand. I guess you do, like, one damage at a time. Like, the most boring fight ever. Alright, so the next one. We are going to kill some pigmen, and this one shoots feathers. It is the Peacemaker. Alright, so you need a diamond sword and a bunch of feathers around it. And we're going to try it out on some pigmen. Alright, so I'll spawn one in, guys, and we are going to annihilate him. Oh, he's got an enchanted sword. Might be tough. Don't go near the iron golem. You might get yourself hurt. Is he trying to escape? He's like, let me get the hell out of here. So all I have to do is right click and it shoots feathers at him, but he has no chance to get here. And I think you can fight with it too. Yeah, it's as strong as diamond anyway, so you have a couple different possibilities with this one. All right, let's make it a challenge. Let's go against two. It's such a weird weapon. I'm shooting feathers. How could a feather hurt that much? It must be a really pointy feather or something like that all right so now guys it looks like we have to kill another iron golem and this one is stronger as durability goes down so it is actually the pain maker i like that it's made out of glass panes with a stick like this and i got a couple different versions of it like i heard the durability to actually test it out for the review because it takes a while for it to go down so i got a normal one i got one that's partly broken and a really damaged one and you're going to see the difference. This one has absolutely nothing on it. This one's sharpness 2. And this one's sharpness 2 twice and sharpness 1 twice. So, pretty interesting. If you fight with it, normally, 1 damage, it's like punching with your hand. Sorry, Iron Golem. You're just a test subject today. And this one's a little bit damaged. So, you can see it's doing more damage. doing like 3 or 4. Because it has sharpness on it. And as you damage it, it's going to get more powerful. And this one is almost broken, so it does like 9 damage, which is pretty awesome, actually. So, a very cool weapon. It doesn't cost much. It's just like, you know, glass panes in a stick. But you have to damage it to actually get any damage out of it, if you know what I mean. But guys, if we head this way, we are on to the last one. And we're going to try to run to the finish after releasing the mites. So, this right here is the Stone of Might. Not the kind of might you think. It is many silver fish coming after us. And to make it, it's a bunch of stone bricks. So what we're going to do is hope for the best here, guys. I'm going to use it. They're going to spawn everywhere, and we're going to try to run over there. So, all right, here we go. This is, this is going to be rough. I have no idea why you'd want to use this item. I could not think of a good reason for it at all. Oh, God. They knocked me out of the arena. That is not what I expected. This is not an arena, but I was freaking out a little bit. All right, guys. We, we've made it. Not the way I wanted to. Hey. All right, fine. I was going to come back and make the jump, but if you don't want me to, I won't do it. As you can see, it spawns in tons of silverfish. I'm trying to think of a good reason for it. Can't really come up with one. It'd be kind of cool if they were your pets and, like, attacked your enemies or something. But, yeah, guys, that is the end of the obstacle course. Good luck on that part. Those things are crazy. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to slam that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video.